Hello, and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton. And today we're gonna talk to the owner of two fabulous downtown eateries, Brandy Fertitta, welcome. Thank you. You started Glazed First, the donut shop. Yes. How many years ago? A little over six years ago now. Is that hard to believe? I mean, it is for me. You've been doing it for six years. <laughs> yeah, it, does, it seems like yesterday, um, but some days it feels like forever. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I mean, I can't remember a time when it wasn't the most popular place in the morning, when people weren't bringing your donuts into the office. I mean, it took hold like that. Yeah, it was a, um, we're happy to, for the success that we've had, especially during COVID. Um, our customers were, have been really supportive, especially during that time when we only had the drive through open. We wouldn't have made it without them. Well, that's what I was going to say. So because of the drive through you were able to stay in business. Yes. Yes. Uh, the line was long. People waited hour, two hours for donuts. But I guess back then we didn't have anything else to really do. <laughs> yeah, I guess a lot of people weren't working. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty special, your donuts. Mm -hmm. Thank Let, you. Let's just, <laughs> let's just show the audience some of them, the ones you brought today. Um, it's a heavy box. Because, I, it is heavy, <laughs> they're gorgeous. I hope you can um, see all that. Yeah, like right there, is like, that's a small apple fritter, I but know. we make really I big love, apple fritters. Love the apple Those fritters. are famous. And, but we do cake and yeast donuts, and the real popular ones are like the Fruity Pebbles and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This looks like Key Lime yep, or key something. Yeah, Key Lime, that's a good one. Maple Bacon, of course, is always popular. Yes, yes. Um, and then we do stuff like the Caramel Cream, what we call cow tails in the far corner, like the candies. Oh, fun. And then we do cake donuts, like old-fashioned, blueberry, chocolate, and then we'll do seasonal ones, uh, like lemon and um, carrot cake. You've got a jelly filled yep. there. Yep. The, yeah, they're uh, they're super yummy. They are. <laughs> and we also do vegan donuts on the weekends. You do? Mm, and then we do gluten sensitive donuts. Um, since we are a gluten restaurant, um, but we use gluten free mix. Uh, but we do those on the first Saturday of every month. Shoot, I'm gonna have to remember that. That. It's just beautiful. And you do. I mean, we talked about the drive through, but you have a lovely place to sit. Also, sit and eat, sip coffee. Do you mm -hmm. still use the local roaster? Yes, we use Rogue Elephant mm -hmm. in Hampton. Will and Renee, they make amazing coffee. They and, do. And then we make also cold brew from their coffee. And then you can come and get growlers filled of those. I would have never thought about that. That's brilliant. Yep. How has that changed over the years, That what? your donut business? Um, I'd say we just expanded in the types of donuts we make, and uh, we were always trying different ideas and getting suggestions from customers, different flavors to try. So, so how many people does it take on an average day Let's to say, make and sell all the donuts? Just um, on that half of the business, and we'll talk about the other part. On that side, I'd say probably... It's three of them in the kitchen, and they usually start anywhere from 8 to 10 o'clock at night. Oh, gosh, I thought it would be <laughs> more takes like all two night. or three. It takes all night. Yeah, because we're, you know, we hand cut the donuts. You know, we don't have big machines. Um, and we hand dip um, and then decorate. So it does take a, it's a long process, especially with the yeast donuts. Because uh, mm, you have to rise, rise oh, wow. multiple times. Um, so just to take one batch of donuts can take uh, almost three hours to make. And so we'll do several batches. So, but yeah, things. Uh, so three in the kitchen usually at night, and then we have two people working out front during the day. So it's a small crew. It's not, we don't have a lot of people. You know, if someone takes a day off. We're someone else is covering the. That's right. <laughs> their job. That's right. And it's a specialized skill. Not everybody, you yeah, know, can do that. Exactly. Generally. And then, so that's the that's the back half of the building. Yes. And in the front half, when did you open base? That was about three years ago. <laughs> so you would have had about a year under your belt when COVID yeah. hit, right? Yeah. Well, we closed. Yep. We only we were still new when COVID um, happened. So with that side, we did have to shut down um, to get by, but, you know, luckily with the grants, I did apply for grants and without those grants, we wouldn't have 
survived. I believe it. What a tough time. And you have an outdoor eating area, so I'm mm -hmm. sure that helped, at yeah, least in, a, in the better weather. Yeah. We have a dog-friendly patio. That's right. <laughs> well, you, the menu at Baked has changed yes. a lot. Yes, we just started um, with breakfast at first. Yeah. Oh, I forgot that part yeah. even. Yeah, we weren't, um, so it was just breakfast and some sandwiches. Some of the sandwiches that were there before we kept mm -hmm. um, when it was uh, La Bodega. And um, from there, we've expanded to, during COVID, we ended up putting in a pizza oven because we thought that would be good just in case we ever did get shut down again. We could, you could do, that's, that's an easy yeah. takeout item. Yeah, and the pizza has been amazing. Okay, show the pizza because yeah, so, I'm very excited about this. So here's one. This is the blueberry yum yum. So that's one of the unique ones. So that's why I wanted to bring that. So it's a white pizza and it has arugula, fresh blueberries, and caramelized onions, and a, a balsamic reduction drizzle. And it's really good. It's not, you know, it sounds like it'd be really sweet, but it's, it's more savory. Mm -hmm. um, and we have other pizzas like uh, Korean barbecue pizza, on which we use the, um, bibim, uh, the bulgogi meat, um, who Emo makes. We'll go to, we'll talk about we'll Korean talk, night. The, yeah. say, let's, let's come back to that. Um, but, uh, and of course, you know, we, you can make your own pizza. We have a gluten-free crust if, you know, if you're, if you're gluten free uh, and that we have vegan options. I mean, the dough is already vegan, but we have vegan cheese and uh, pepperonis. Oh, and do sausage. you really? So, oh my gosh, that's awesome. Just to give everyone options. I have a child who's vegan and has celiac, so it's, oh. it's very hard yes. <laughs> to, to take her out to eat. Yeah, so uh, and we've added subs like meatball subs and French dip and uh chicken philly steak fillies and then we added a bunch of appetizers mostly like deli cold cuts at least yep. when it was when it was bodega yeah right now there was it was just that's what we started with too at first but and yeah, now your hours it. you are open till till nine o'clock during the week and ten o'clock on the weekends or friday and saturday and then sunday we're only open till three um for brunch and we do breakfast every day until at least two o'clock Oh. Sunday till three, but every day till two. So you can get lunch or um, breakfast. So the downtown restaurant scene is, you know, it's busy. Um, it you might have thought it was a little crowded, but you have you have wormed your way in there and made quite a niche, I think. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, you know, we're a little different than them in the sense that you know they they do have more of a night crowd mm -hmm. business where you know we're not catering to that. Um, we're very family oriented you know, we also have uh, we added some games like ping pong pac-man oh i haven't uh, been there lately then in the back area so and board games mm -hmm. just to add a little entertainment so it can be also a place to hang yeah. out a little bit yeah. while you eat mm -hmm. that's wonderful well now let's talk about your chef because I keep seeing on Facebook, it's Korean night what night is that and why, <laughs> how did that come about those are Thursday nights uh, uh, Emo, she come, she's from Tide Mill Cafe. She used to own the restaurant Tide Mill, which was famous for their Korean food. And she went, she sold that, retired. She didn't really retire. She's still working. And she came to work for me. And she's, um, so we started adding the Korean night, which is really popular. And the food is amazing. Yes, it is. I remember. Well, so is she always the cook, but only one night a week she does? Yeah, the, one the night Korean she night? does okay. the Korean night, and then she helps us do other things during the week. But. And then I saw on Facebook the other day, you had Taco pop up one night. Yeah, we have two employees, one of my kitchen managers and one of my front of house managers, uh, Johnny and Jasmine. They're starting a food truck uh, called Jay's Tacos. And so they've been on Sundays doing a pop up at the restaurant and uh, selling their tacos and they've been switching it up every week to give us something different. That, you know, that's really different because you kind of think that each restaurant has one niche. Yeah, not us. <laughs> but you've got a bunch. Yeah. It's yeah. different. You and know. I like to support other businesses and other people and uh, kind of showcase them too. And it brings in customers, their customers, you know, come to our restaurant and we gained a lot of new customers that way because people that were fans of them now come to have our food too. right that's so cool oh and we also added ice cream forgot about that 
Because there used to be an ice cream shop downtown that's not there yeah, anymore, which was my really favorite. that's really sad. I know, but you filled that. <clears throat> yep, so we added ice cream so you can come get ice cream, milkshakes, floats. What kind of ice cream is it? It is. Um, is it like soft serve? Yeah, is it's, it a, dish? it's okay. a di- the the dip kind. Yeah, dip kind. <laughs> yep. And you mix yummy. up the flavors, or yeah, well, we have you know a bunch of different like eight different flavors, and we also have different toppings that of course that we use from the you know all these toppings that go on there you can oh, get on. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. It's a perfect match. Yeah. And you can get ice cream, a sandwich with a donut. <laughs> oh, now I want one. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. So how has, I mean, that's a lot of growth for your two businesses over that time period, especially the last three years. How has that been? How do you manage it? Don't get much sleep. (laughs) I was going to (laughs) say, if the donuts start at eight o'clock at night, that's like the restaurant hasn't even closed yet. I have employees at this point working 24 hours a day. So I always have the phone right beside me when I'm sleeping. (laughs) And how is that, you know, for you personally? I mean, you went from, you, you launched two businesses. That's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, some days it feels a little overwhelming, but for the most part, I have a good team right now. So that definitely helps. Any advice for somebody who's thinking about launching a restaurant or any kind of a business? <laughs> um, just to make sure that you're ready for the commitment. I mean, it is definitely full time no matter what you're it's always and vacations uh you won't get many of those yeah i bet but hopefully uh i hope to go on one soon (laughs) (laughs) well um what else do you have going on that's just pretty exciting right there uh we do every week every wednesday we do a wine tasting free wine tasting oh yay i haven't done one of those in a while from five to seven we do it and um so you can come in and taste we usually have about three wines that you can taste um, and then you can buy bottles yep. if it's something you like. And, and we have a whole wine shop. Sorry, we have a whole wine shop. Um, so, which a lot of people don't know, but they're learning. And we do. We sell. We've been selling a lot of wine. We have really good wine, especially for the budget. You know, I most was going to bu- say most you of the have bottles some very are, budget-friendly mm-hmm. but good mm-hmm. wines. I've been always very impressed. Yeah, twenty. Most of them are twenty dollars and under. And we do have some few higher-end ones. Um, but they're, they're great. And I mean, we have probably 50 or more bottle, different types of wine. So, and the best part is they're not restaurant wine prices. So when you come, you can have a bottle of wine that's wine shop price. Right. It's retail price. I'm like, where's the markup when I first started yeah. doing that? It was a really good deal. Mm-hmm. So you can come and just get, you can come in and get a pizza and a bottle of wine to go if you want. Mm-hmm. Or you can sit there can inside sit there. or yep. outside. And, and eat it. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Well, is there anything I haven't asked you about that you want to set? You have wine tastings. Oh. Sometimes you're at beer tastings. You've yeah. got oh, yeah, wine we're gonna have a beer. Yeah, we're having beer tastings, too. Um, um, we're bringing different local breweries um, to showcase their wa- uh, beer. Then we are also um, do wine tastings, like big wine tastings, where there's usually about 15 wines that you can taste. And... Usually, uh, last one, we had pizza, slices of pizza, and little uh, individual cheese and charcuteries that you could enjoy while you're tasting. And then we're going to have, um, coming up soon, we'll have some wine dinners. Um, so it'll be like four-course meal and a, a different wine pairing for each, uh, each uh, yep. Yeah. You know, that is a huge variety from, you know, some deli sandwiches to pizza to wine tastings to ice cream i mean that's a lot to keep up with it is <laughs> <laughs> to korean to tacos i mean really it's different almost every time you go there and yeah. just a lot of fun yeah we like that all right so you're successful you're going to stick around yeah we're going to stick around and hopefully expand i'm hoping to have another donut shop in the future oh yay that would be great that's my next step i think congratulations thank you well i hope it does might well. take a little while but yeah yeah you're, you're going to be careful not <laughs> yeah. to overstretch yourself yeah but if you have a good team that that helps a lot yeah, definitely 
Well, thank you so much for coming by and thank you. for showing off your wonderful um, food that's making me hungry. I can't decide which, <laughs> yeah. which, which one is making me more hungry. But, but thank you so much, Brandy. It's good to see you. And congratulations you on surviving you know, COVID with your business and yes, how well you. you are thriving right now. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Okay. <laughs> And thanks for watching. I assume by now you have visited, baked and glazed, but if not, they're right downtown. You can't miss them and you will not be disappointed. It almost doesn't matter what you pick, it's gonna be good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>